You know guys, I've done three videos on rebound relationships now and this will be the fourth. There are always plenty of questions surrounding rebounds. So today I thought I would try and tackle the question or questions of what is a rebound? Why do they happen? And just genuinely breaking down a rebound. Now the crazy thing is this, there isn't much research on rebound relationships. So that leaves us with what we can observe and talking with people about why they rebound. So let's get into it. But before I do that, welcome back to The Love Fix. It's Nick, as always, doing my best to get you through your breakups as easily and as healthily as possible with compassion, but no bullshit. If today's video is not enough for you, you know what you can do. You can email me at thelovefix20 at gmail.com. My details are below in the description and I would be hugely appreciative if you hit like and hit subscribe. It would really help the channel out. So let's break down a rebound relationship. A rebound relationship is getting into a new relationship when all reason and logic says you should not be getting into a new relationship. There has been no time to process the events of a breakup or to heal. So why do dumpers and even sometimes dumpies rebound knowing it's not the best decision? Whatever way you want to look at this, rebounding is a decision. So you have to square with that in your head that your ex decided to rebound rather than working on your relationship or working on themselves and staying single. So many of you ask, how long does a rebound last? And in my experience, it can be as little as three months to the rebound actually being successful and going on long term. But 90% of the time, they will fail pretty quickly. There are a number of factors that can determine how good and how long a rebound could actually be. This can depend on how good your relationship was with your ex. Are there any significant public holidays coming up like Christmas, for example, and they just don't want to be alone? around these public holidays. This also could be a birthday, it could be the death of the family member, like an anniversary. Or they simply can't and won't face the pain of a breakup and latch onto someone who gives them attention. Sounds like a great way to avoid the pain of a breakup, but as I mentioned in my video, the five stages of a rebound relationship for the dumper, short-term gains, long-term pain. The dumper, is heading into a perfect emotional shitstorm and it's going to hit them hard. So what drives the decision to rebound? Our biological driver is that there is safety in numbers. That's led us to evolve into social creatures which led us to form relationships which ultimately has kept us safe for thousands of years. When we are rejected or in this case the dumper choosing to leave the safety of the group, their personal safety is threatened enter separation anxiety which can literally feel like we're going to die ironically our ability to survive in groups is the very thing that debilitates us when we have a breakup because when a breakup happens that biological instinct to stay in a group kicks in now the person leaving the group has a powerful instinct to find a new group a new tribe, a place to feel safe that guarantees their survival. Even though your dumper voluntarily left the safety of your group, they will crave, need and want the safety of a new group. All of the happy new relationship hormones kick in very quickly to take the pain away of a breakup. But here's the thing, I don't want you to be mad or upset at your ex for seeking a rebound. I want you to celebrate that because it will backfire in most cases. We need to understand the nature of the beast and here it is. Imagine you've been in the most unimaginable pain for the last 10 years and I offer you a pill that will take all of that pain away. But the pill will only work for three months and when it wears off, the pain will come back 10 times worse. Even though I've just given you that dire warning, most people will take that pill just to get some hint of relief. And that, my friends, is what your ex, the dumper, is doing 
when headed into a rebound. No one in the history of human existence can outsmart these biological drivers and feelings of survival. Our biology is smarter than us. It has had millions of years of evolution and we've been studying it for a very short time in comparison. Your ex is trying to outsmart their feelings by avoiding them, but feelings will never go away unless we turn and face them. Your ex is trying to outrun, in essence, an apex predator. It's stalking them and waiting for the right time to strike, which is normally around the three to six month mark. Ironically, it's a monster of their own creation because they chose to run rather than looking it in the eye. Immediately post breakup, your ex is loving the rebound. Life is great, the sun is shining, and they are high on the feel good hormones. But here's the thing, when their feelings finally chase them down and they realize that they no longer like their rebound any longer, they will need to deal with the breakup with you and then they will need to deal with the breakup with the rebound. Enter my evil laugh. <laughs> so to all of the dumpies out there, my friends, you have the advantage. You've been forced to feel and confront your feelings right away. This is the best gift of all because you're now on a journey of personal growth, adventure, and self-discovery. You started the eating process where your dumper took the easy way out. They took the instant pain relief, which ultimately causes them more pain in the long run. So I want you to just take a step back and appreciate how good your position at actually is just like when a boxer is seemingly being pummeled for the first six rounds of a fight they're on the back foot their guard is tight they're ducking and diving and just trying to survive the onslaughts of their opponent and at this particular time they appear to be losing very badly the aggressor appears to be winning the fight and having fun with ease by throwing 100 punches every round but only 10% of his punches are landing. Your guard is holding up and you're conserving energy, all the while biding your time and waiting for the right time to counterattack. You're taking the pain now and waiting them out. Round 7 starts and your opponent starts to get tired. They're only throwing 10 punches around now. You've taken the pain, you've taken the punishment, you've taken the attack and you've weathered it. You survived. You've done the personal work. You confronted what was coming at you. You didn't run away from it. You stepped back. You put some defenses up. But you didn't run. You took what was coming. And now you're stronger for it. With ease, you throw one punch and knock the aggressor out. That, my friends, is how you deal with any breakup, especially rebounds. Take your pain today so you can feel better tomorrow. Mark Manson says in his book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, we all have pain, there are no exceptions, but what we can do is upgrade it to a better version of pain. Even being in a good relationship has its pain. You now have to consider that person rather than just looking after yourself. When you are just looking after yourself, yeah, it can be great. Single life can be great, but it can be lonely and painful at times. When in a relationship, your partner will have their own baggage, hang-ups, bad habits, and so on. That is another form of pain. It's simply an upgraded version of pain. You're no longer lonely, but you have to also take on the responsibility and the potential ups and downs of any relationship. That's just a different version of pain. You can go from being very poor to being financially stable. When you're poor, you never know if you can make rent that month or even if you've got enough money for groceries. When you have more money, you have other responsibilities like kids, mortgages, saving up for college and all that kind of thing. It's just an upgraded version of your pain. So I guess what I'm trying to say is bide your time and don't take it as a personal 
attack on you that your ex is now in a rebound. In fact, it's actually quite a compliment to you because they're trying to fill the hole of where you used to be and also maybe pity them because they don't know how to deal with the pain of a breakup so they outsource it to somebody else and for you whoever's listening to this today I get why you're here because sometimes we just have to shout into the great unknown and hope to fuck someone answers back and I hope today's video can do that for you because the real reason why you're here today it's not to get your ex back it's to find clarity it's to find answers to get some understanding to find a way forward and that's what this channel is about but if that's not enough for you today and you need help with your personal breakup situation you can email me at thelovefix20 at gmail.com and arrange a voice coaching session with myself my details are below in the description also there is a free facebook group just type in the love fix breakup recovery and join the community as always i hope you're doing okay you are enough you will be fine i promise you will be okay and i will see you on the other side